I go into clinics and I do consulting and lecturing and I see three, four technicians trying to sit on a stressed out, very large dog to get an IV catheter in place. With the fear-free movement and all kinds of low stress handling techniques and resources that are out there, I think that we owe it to our patients as well as ourselves to make this experience the least stressful as possible. So go online and find some resources for low stress handling and don't be afraid to sedate your patients if needed before things like IV catheter placement, radiographs, etc. Not every patient needs atropine in their pre-med. And if you're still including atropine in your pre-med just because that's the way we've done it for 20 years, get with the times. There are a lot of resources out there that'll tell you why that's not an effective or appropriate measure if you feel like you're running into an anesthetic emergency or an emergency in general and your patient needs atropine, then great. Remember, we're not doing cookbook recipes anymore. As far as anesthesia goes, every patient is its own individual with its own individual needs and its own individual drug selection. Not only is this such a fantastic sedative drug, but also you're providing pain control. Look on the label. Dexmedetomine not only provides sedation, but it's also labeled as an analgesic and functions as an analgesic. Not the same way that opioids do, but still. When you combine dexmedetomidine and opioids into your pre-med, you get great sedation and great analgesia. Meow.